with a gorgeous lighting fixture. And we're going to show you how to get it for so much less than you're going to see in the stores. We've got DIY expert Christian Dare here. <laughs> you the inspiration first okay so yep. if you go to a store you might see this light uh, called a capiz a capiza capiz yeah a capiz pendant yep. light there's one we've got another one and if you see one of these in a store it might cost anywhere between 200 and 500 dollars mm -hmm. or you could make your own which is what Christian has done right here DIY cost $60 yep. everybody <laughs> then did this I mean did this take you half a year did it take you a weekend it didn't take a weekend it probably took two four-hour shifts maybe oh, at okay. the most at the most yeah it really good. doesn't take that long it's actually the cutting out that takes a while but right okay so how do we start so super so yeah so capiz chandeliers have been really popular for years they're actually called capiz because it's called also a windowpane oyster Okay. So they're see-through, so they use them in decorations a lot. So DIYers have done them for years, but they used to do them with wax paper. Yes. And irons. Yes. And you would wax together four sheets of paper. Oh. That's too much work for me. We're yes. not doing that. Put that away. Right? That's too much work. It's and how much. do you dust wax paper? I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> so I actually went to a big box store and sourced this. It's called Privacy Control Window Film. Okay. Which is technically frosting. Oh, if you ever need so to frost a door or a window. Here. Yeah, so it's yeah. thicker. It actually gets that same sort of look. Yes. And it's better for the heat, and you can dust it easily. So and you don't have easy. to put four together, no, fuse four together. No, just you one. can just use one. That's great. So yeah, total cost is about $60. If you have one of these guys at home already, these sort of, we love them, we hate them, white globes. Yes. The rest of it's maybe $35. Oh, perfect. So because mine, I had to source one, came with silver mm -hmm. fixtures, I actually used an antique gold to spray it. So just make sure you're doing it in a well-ventilated well area and yeah. a mask. Absolutely. So I just wanted that gold fixture, so. Uh-huh. Step one is you create a template. Yes. So this guy I just made with uh, a cardboard or cardstock. Okay. So it's just a double leaf. Right. Simple. I'm just oh. going to show them what that looks like so they know. So, because you're going to be tracing this over and over and over again. And over and Are over you? and over again, yeah. Okay, so make sure it's a little bit. Yeah, a uh, thicker got, paper. Right, a thicker paper. Yeah. So you're going to trace on, you'll see on this paper there's a shiny side and a matte side. Yeah. So trace on the matte side. It's Got just it. easier to see it, easier to trace, and mm -hmm. just use a pencil. Okay. So it's very simple. You're just going to keep tracing, trace as many as you can. People ask me how many did it take. Yeah. I don't know. You it took count. basically the whole sheet, which oh. is four by eight feet. Okay. <laughs> you were tracing so for a while. I was tracing for a while. Mm -hmm. But what's actually really interesting is you're going to make a whole bunch of them. They don't have to be perfect. Yeah. Like capiz shells are natural. Yes. Get the kids to cut with you. Yes. It's like safety scissors and cut them. Like you'll yeah. see they're all slightly different. And that's okay. And that's okay, because you actually won't notice it in the fixture. That's right. And you want it to look more organic anyways. Exactly. So the next step so is to outline them. So he's a whole bunch of these. A whole bunch of these. Okay. And then we're going to outline them. So you're going to outline them. You're going to grab a paint marker. Yeah. I always tend to go with the oil paint markers when I'm using metallic because it gives a more intense metallic color. Mm. So, and you'll see, you can also have the kids help you with this. Yeah. So you're just going to go basically outline it. When this it dries a little, yeah. you want to do both sides, basically. Okay. But you'll see, like, I am not doing a perfect job mm -hmm. at all. So you and want it to be fine. a thick-ish kind of line. Yeah, a thick-ish kind of line. Because often chandeliers will do this. It's kind of basically the sort of, like, metal ribbing they would use to hold the capiz shell together. Got it. So that's the look you're kind of really recreating. Right. So you're going to do lots and lots of these. And you'll see they're all slightly different. Yep. Glass globe. All right. Now we've we're done all of this hard done work. All this it's hard the prep work. work that takes the time. Now the what prep do we work do? takes time. The actual gluing on, because you're actually going to do it in a very random pattern, oh, so you, you don't are. get a weird sort of pattern happening. Yeah. The gluing maybe takes an hour at the most. Okay. So it's actually the easy part. It's the cutting out. So recruit the kids. Recruit yeah. the neighbors' kids. <laughs> have everybody cut. The for whole you. family's right? cutting these out and tracing them and gluing them on. Yeah. And all you're going to do is fold it in half. Uh huh. Pull out your trusty glue gun. Always. Always. You want to use a high heat glue. Mm-hmm. It's just a little dollop. Okay. Does Stick it take on. a while for it to dry usually? No. Okay. Right on there. So you keep going. And then going. you just keep going. All each right. one. And you just start putting them in a random pattern. So okay, you just keep so it going. doesn't have to be a straight line. No, down. it doesn't have to be a straight line. And what like it looks kind of floppy, but you'll see as you place them tight together, mm -hmm. they hold each other up. They start to hold right? up. Right? So you keep adding more and more. Okay, well that's fun. Yeah, it's 
Now, Very in easy. the end, you've got this beautiful ball. Yeah. Um, every It's all been glued all over the place. Yeah. You uh, you put the lighting fixture together, yeah. which is which is an easy yeah, thing to so do. Yeah, so I wanted mine to be a pendant light. Yeah. So this one is actually one that kind of hugs the ceiling. So I actually just used a cord kit a so cord you could kit. hang it as a pendant light. So this? Yeah, so just okay. simple, easy cord kit. And so he's going to be able to hang it now wherever he wants to hang it. Now, yeah. the other tip you had for us, uh, which I think is very cool, is when it comes to cleaning this thing. Oh, yeah. Let's say I'm, you have a couple of them hanging or they're out of reach. What do you do to make yeah, sure that Yeah, because they actually can be really clean. beautiful, even like two on your bathroom. That's where yeah. I have mine. Yeah. And so when you're doing your hair. Yes. You just Please. dust your light shade. Right? Easy, easy. Because it's so sturdy, it just stands up to it. Yes, I love it. Uh, we often put the instructions for your DIYs yep. on our website yep. because we love for our viewers to follow along at home. And, and this is a fairly easy one that we know that you'll be able to master. So cityline.tv for the instructions. And thank you, Christian. Thank